This figure has a lot of equipment on his back and to make it stand out I have to give it a lot of contrast so I went over and covered up any messy areas from the previous layers with black and now this particular color is model color US dark green but I'm trying to leave the black showing on the edges so then when I paint the other areas it's a it'd be a very obvious visual that they're all different pieces and of course we're gonna paint all the different pieces different colors but I mean that that black edge you know really separates them visually so that's why we're going with a bit extra contrast here and now for the highlights I mixed in some game color dead flesh so it's gonna catch the edges the smaller the piece the less highlights you have to worry about putting on it obviously on something this small I'm not gonna bother doing you know, three or four highlights that may be necessary when it comes to some areas like the cloak but not here so boom that's pretty much it I think I'm gonna do a, one more so I'll go ahead and do that on camera a little more dead flesh just on the tips And there we go, that's it. Skipping over parts here because there's just a lot of stuff on this pack and it's all small and I don't want to spend 10 minutes of the video on just some tiny area. But the key here is the color selection here. I don't want to paint anything red because I have it against the red cloak. Um, I was really planning on doing more green on this figure but it's just not happening that way. Um, since a lot of this is this is supposed to be a ranger, I'm figuring more natural colors. So that leads to browns. Don't want to do them all brown though, so that's why I did the bedroll in the middle. Green. But I'm balancing it by putting brown on either side. So it, it makes good balance of the colors because I got brown, green, brown. That'd be better than like brown, green, blue, or something like that. And this is Flat Earth, which is the exact same color I used on the padded armor in front. However, I'm going to highlight it differently. I may have to give it a wash. You know what? Change my mind. Nope, we're not going to do that. Alright, slight change. Let's do a darker brown instead. This is Vallejo model color camo black brown. And the reason why I quickly decided to change here is because even though I would have highlighted them differently so they look, look slightly different. Using the flat brown here on this very edge piece, especially when it was so close to this brown where you can see them at the same time, they would have looked like the same color. And also by using a darker brown, I can, uh, when I paint the stitches, a lighter color, again, more contrast. So. I'm gonna figure out what color to highlight this with and then we'll do the stitching. I did a bit of uh, extra painting on some of the other bits on the back here. And now I did have to go back and in a couple spots re-blacken the rope tying all this stuff together. Now I got my yellow ochre. Not yellow ochre, what the hell am I using? Um, Leather brown. Game color yet leather uh, leather brown. And I'm trying to do all the uh, the rope tying everything together. And so this oh, straight over the black so I get good contrast. And this has a rope, you know, wrapped around texture to it. God doing this while talking is near impossible. Um I'm not trying to paint the actual each individual little rope braid uh, bulge. I'm just trying to like dot 
go along and dot them wherever I can. I can't talk when doing the small stuff. Screw it up a little bit there. But trying to paint each little bulge individually is nigh impossible. Basically just ballparking it. I need to concentrate on this. We're on day two here. Would have really liked to finish this figure in just one day, but I just got too tired. And not sure exactly where we left off, but I just have the flesh and the shield to do. And for the flesh, starting off with Panzer Aces, a dark flesh tone, and flesh base. I really need to come up with a new flesh recipe. This works well, but I'm getting a little bored of it. But I don't want to fiddle with something new at the moment. And, oh, sorry, I got a little bit of camo black-brown mixed into it. Just because I don't... I don't want it to be too red, just for, yeah, just because I don't want it to be too red, really. If this isn't a super dark shade. We're going to rely on the final wash to take care of most of the shading. Next flesh base, which is a little bit of the dark flesh shade mixed in. Mainly because I just don't like painting flesh over black. It needs uh, something a little bit more warm underneath it. Give it a good color. That's about it there. Not too much flesh on this guy. I'm going to skip the straight flesh base step because that last layer was pretty close to the flesh base, so I don't think I need it. And so I just mixed in a little bit of highlight flesh to the flesh base and starting to get on the painting smaller and smaller areas and again, can't talk. I'm doing the delicate stuff like the knuckles. Final highlight with just a little bit more highlight flesh mixed in. Just hitting cheeks, top of the nose, a little bit on the bridge there. Of course, only doing one half of his face because the other half is in shadow. And drag it along the knuckles here. Finishing up with a, whoops, hang on, sorry, a little bit too much moisture on my brush. Finishing up with a washy glaze, it's supposed to be more of a glaze here, unfortunately I had too much on my brush, turning in a bit too much like a wash, of uh, brown ink, and just helps to tone everything together, brings up the shade a little bit, tones down the highlights. And actually, I put it on, I should have thinned it out a bit more, so. We're gonna see if we can soak a little bit of this up. But that's about it. We're not bothering with the eyeballs because he's like squinting and they're just, they're just not enough room there to paint them. You really can't see them on the sculpt itself. So if I try painting them, it, it won't work because they're they're just not there. And, you know that's okay if they're super tiny, just a little you know wash in there. You wouldn't be able to see a guy who's squinting anyway. 
that's about it. Final thing to do is the shield. And I had a couple different ideas. First I was gonna paint it green or maybe white with like a green, paint a tree on it or something like that. Cause he's supposed to be a ranger, sort of woody. But I ended up not putting too much green on him, paint wise. But we're still gonna go with an off white here. So this is model color buff mixed with a little bit of game color uh, earth. And I don't think I mentioned it, but you may have noticed that on the front, I had a very dark brown trim on the padded armor. I went back and did a white, which works a lot better because it's more contrast and it blends in to the color that I'm doing for the shield here. And I'm not exactly sure where I want to go with the shield here, so that's why I mixed in some earth. And then I'll just keep adding buff until I think I'm at a good step. Mixed a bit more buff into that previous layer. And again, just trying, just painting more layers and trying to figure out exactly how light I want to make this. Um, I think we can actually go a little bit lighter, but since I want a balanced, oops, that's the wrong color. Since I want a balanced, uh, smooth tone on the shield, even though I'm not going to heat this color, uh, I want to paint a solid color. So the colors I put over it then aren't showing through to different shades of the previous color. And big flat surface means very thin paint and painting more than one layer. There we go. A little more buff. So I worked all the way up to just straight buff and then started adding a little bit of white to highlight and got the idea just to stipple on some highlights to give the idea like it's a little, the shield's you know, been banged up repeatedly. So just adding some texture. Simple effect. Hopefully it's effective. We'll do a few on the other side as well. I'm gonna paint a silhouette of a dragon on the shield here. I'm looking at the internet right now. So I just search for some uh, reference photos. I'm just sort of trying to just block it in at the moment, trying to figure out exactly the shape I want. Once I get the rough shape, I'll start filling in a bit more and getting the exact uh, silhouette that I want. So I just painted this in camel black brown and my intent was to use that just as a base and build up to a red tone However, I really like the dark brown. It works very well with the buff on the shield. So I'm just going over and highlighting a little bit on the edges with some burnt umber. And if you're wondering, yes, this dragon has horns because the image that I found on Google, it had, or, or antlers, excuse me, not horns. At antlers, which I thought felt fit well in with the ranger scheme. And I went a little bit overboard with the highlights here. We're just going to go ahead and paint the whole thing with the burnt umber. And we'll do a little bit of edge highlighting with a lighter color. But we'll leave the camo black round along the edges, just so it pops a little bit more. 
That works. Trying again. Do a little edging on the dragon here. This time I'm using flat earth. I'm gonna go a little bit more. Do a little less this time essentially. Here, little there, and that is about it. I got a little bit of cleanup work. I need to go back with the buff and clean up the tail a little bit. But that is about it. There we go. There's our ranger. That was fun. Painted him pretty quickly, probably less than two hours total. Definitely less than two hours. And I haven't painted a single figure in so long. I really enjoyed that. I think I'll be doing some more. And here is our finished Ranger, all dull coated and flocked. And, well, we're done. Didn't come out too bad. I really like the shield. I think that works for it very well. Um, the padded armor part probably should have done a darker color and face could have came out a little better that uh, the brown wash I put on was a bit too thick so it darkened it up pretty much made him came a pretty well tanned skin tone and he's wearing a hood so he, you figure he would have a little bit lighter skin at least on his face but overall it's really nice to paint a figure and well it should have been a day it was two days but uh, it was only a couple hours but I'm gonna be painting up some more fantasy role-playing miniatures in the near future so more videos coming soon thanks for watching